Artificial intelligence is revolutionising gaming. From in-game physics and animation simulation to real-time rendering and AI-assisted broadcasting features. Deep Learning Super Sampling, or DLSS, is an innovative piece of technology that uses the power of AI to boost frame rates in games by using advanced sampling and anti-aliasing techniques that smooth out screen blurring, ghosting and motion artifacts, and create an image that looks like a higher resolution image without sacrificing frame rate or processing power. In short, your computer renders each frame at a lower resolution to provide a performance boost, then applies various AI-driven effects to deliver an image which is comparable to raising the resolution. DLSS has been around for a couple of years, which in the tech world means it's overdue an upgrade. That upgrade landed this week in the form of DLSS 2.0, which utilises dedicated AI processors on GeForce RTX GPUs called Tensor Cores. NVIDIA's release is a big advance on the original code, providing a significant boost of frame rates without increasing demands on the hardware. In some instances, performance can improve by as much as 76%, allowing players to run games at higher settings without upgrading their machines. One of the advantages is the handling of objects in motion, an area where DLSS has typically struggled to deliver clean images. In contrast, DLSS 2.0 creates more natural imagery without the same level of blocking or distortion. This is already a powerful tool and one which is still being optimised. NVIDIA claims that DLSS will continue to improve over the months and years to come, but it's out there right now and it can deliver substantial performance uplifts without affecting the look and feel of a game. However, there is a downside. The best place for this kind of technology is in lower end cards, but unfortunately it's only supported by RTX graphics cards, the cheapest of which is around £270, not exactly budget friendly. The real problem though, is that the list of supported games is still very limited, and although that may change, it's still uncertain if DLSS 2.0 will see widespread adoption. It could be that in a year or two, DLSS is a commonplace feature in most games, due to its ease of implementation and the dominance of RTX GPUs in gamer systems. Only time will tell, but for now, it's an exciting piece of news with huge potential.